Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another green light unboxing video where we take a look at a sealed case of green light that are not my cars, they're a buddy of mine that so orders them. You guys know the drill if you've been watching the playlist or keeping up with these uh, videos. Uh, anywho, we're going to go ahead and open it. We're going to hope we score a chase. We're going to look at the series together. I'm going to form an opinion on it. You're going to form an opinion on it. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be kind of fun like that. All right, so without further ado let's go ahead and open up battalion 64 series one when i first saw that this series was announced i was like amazed to be honest i was like i could not believe that green light is going to actually put out 164 scale tanks <sighs> unbelievable so um i was really excited for it actually i almost bought this whole set i didn't i ended up getting three of the vehicles from the set um and i'll show i'll tell you which three is when we go here but uh i was really impressed that they could put this out and at the same price point as their standard cars i don't know these gotta be some of these have to be more expensive to produce so green light's doing some sort of blended margin magic that uh i don't know how they're maintaining a profit margin when they're increasing cost on some of the castings they have to be i don't know anyway all right so 1984 chevrolet m 1008 cucv this uh i'll just show you the card art real quick first it's pretty basic standard stuff for green light right it's not going to be unique per vehicle it's going to look like this battalion 64 no matter what comes out it'll probably be that way for the whole run of these series there's going to already a series two planned this is series one came out a little while ago um a month or so maybe two months ago uh it started showing up but very very cool all right 1984 chevy truck in this camo with a uh kind of a canvas top looking thing over the bed and it looks pretty good so kind of a basic truck casting nothing too crazy yet but it's in a camo uh, paint job which Greenlight really hasn't done any of up until now at least not that i can recall so i think it's kind of cool that they're getting into this uh this with this space in 164 scale. Uh, Johnny Lightning does a good job. They've made some tank castings and stuff like that. My only gripe with them is that they're really not 164 scale. Um, and that's where Greenlight can kind of shine here uh, in that regard. So if they can pull them off with good quality control and all that, all that jazz. All right, 1943 Willys MB Jeep, US Army. Uh, this one is a pretty wild checkered yellow color uh we have a wheel issue here that's going to be fixable once it's pulled out of the package they're really thin tires because they're pretty much to scale i suppose and follow me and uh you know so that's fixable they fall off the rim pretty easy no 6796 is the serial number on these can you see these really easy we'll look at them if you can uh the other one's like 2959 but there's that one i did not pick this one up i don't think i picked this one up i can't remember which truck i got i'll remember once i see it i don't think it was that one For some reason it might have been all right this i definitely picked up the 1941 m4 sherman tank u.s army world war ii first and best stone i grabbed this i had to grab this obviously tank from green light and i did actually review this casting in one of my diecast weekly episodes if you check out the diecast weekly playlist for that um, you can find the one where i actually did review this i also posted a pretty cool picture of it to my instagram but uh this is actually really cool now these are kind of a static display i will say that they're not gonna roll okay they're just not the the treads are actual rubber they they are on you know, a mechanism that moves, I guess, with little wheels here, and they try to make it as accurate as possible. However, rolling this across the table is just not, not really going to happen. The track moves, uh, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not a roller, okay? So don't expect it to be if you pick it up. Uh, next is this little guy, 1970 Jeep DJ5 US Army. This must be one of the cheaper castings here that they kind of blend in, right? Um, this one has, but it doesn't have any sort of details for the headlights. 
Not really a huge fan. Another wheel issue. The wheel is off on this one. So for card collectors, that might be a problem. Where these are going, they're going to get opened up anyhow. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, it's definitely fixable. This is a nice little basic green Jeep. Yeah. All right. Next is the 1987 Chevy M1008 CUCV in camo again with this. Is this the one I got? I can't remember now. I think I got this one, actually. I think this is the one I ended up buying. Pretty sure it is. Man, my memory is, is going. All right. 1987 Chevy. Looks pretty cool. Along that, it's basically the same exact, I mean, it is the same exact truck, basically, as this one, just a different uh, camo color and a different accessory for the back of it. Uh, they both have, like, a brush guard going on in the front. And, yeah, they're both basically the same. Let's see the number on this one, 5361. Oh, did we catch the tank number? Did we look at that? I don't remember. 4594. Not like you care. 49.50. It's just cool to see how close they are, too. But, yeah. All right, so there's the trucks. They got two of those. And then the last one, or one last one, yeah, is a tank. The 1952 M4 Sherman Tank U.S. Army Korean War. Yeah, this thing is pretty awesome, too. Okay, so we got a 1952 and a 1941 Sherman. I don't think there's much difference in the two castings. Just kind of taking a peek here. And yeah, I believe they're basically exactly the same tooling. I'm not a tank connoisseur, so I can't really tell you. I think we looked at these pretty closely too when I, when I looked at them in that weekly video. Um, I really couldn't tell the difference number on the bottom 4573 so pretty cool so i did pick up these two and i believe this one so uh yeah now that i'm looking at 100 certain is this all right so anyway what do you guys think about this set what do you think about them getting into the space i think it's pretty awesome um i think it's fantastic i, I can't wait to see more i hope they do different tanks and stuff like that different uh, military vehicles and try to keep it as close to 164 scale for real as possible i don't know for sure okay i haven't measured i don't know if these are 164 scale i can tell you they are very much larger than um like the johnny lightning versions of tanks or the johnny lightning tanks definitely larger than those so i, I would i'm leaning towards yes they are actually are like 164 scale um, so, but you guys let me know. All right. What do you guys think about this set? Let me know in the comments. You're going to pick it up. You're going to pass on it. Um, have you already grabbed it? Do you like it? What do you think of the tanks in particular? I think they're pretty cool. All right. Thank you guys very much. Have a good day.